craftsmanship is the most important thing about what we do here. The decisions are made based on experience, based on taste, and based on what we see, and then we shift and we guide the wines differently. Sagsby Wine Cellars has a, a wonderful and certainly important part of the history of the Napa Valley. You know, our story really started in uh, 1969. There was this fantastic expansion of grape industry here in the Napa Valley by virtue of the judgment of Paris. The Stag's Leap Wine Cellars wine took first place, and it was a pivotal moment for California and the Napa Valley and the whole world because for the first time we demonstrated that to make world-class wines, they didn't just have to come from France. The Stag's Leap District is a very special place. Our vineyard manager, Kurt Grace, calls it the Goldilocks zone, and he's very much right. A Goldilocks zone is uh, exactly what it sounds like. It's uh, just right. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. It's the soils and the climate and the work that goes into growing those grapes. It's uh, a place of maximum potential. The wines are wonderfully complex. They've got a good level of richness and ripeness but they don't tend to be too over the top or too heavy. And with our single vineyards, whether it be from Fay or SLV, when you go back and you taste the older wines and then you taste the young wines, you can find some of the characters of each in both. Grape growing and winemaking are not just a science. It's also a craft and an art. And every artist has a different interpretation. There's an interesting tension that arises in the vineyard and in the winery but the thing that's most important is it's a collaboration. An effective winemaker knows his vineyards intimately. Winemaking is a blend of farming, there's a technical side to it, you know, a little bit of microbiology, a little bit of chemistry, and then there's another side to it that's very personal. Using my experience to try to bring out all those flavors from the vineyard to produce a wonderful bottle of wine that someone is gonna take home and open with their friends, open with their family, and hopefully provide a wonderful experience. I'm proud of the legacy that I get to help conserve, but part of that is also trying to take the next step forward in innovation. When people experience our wines, I want them to be able to uh, taste the passion and the effort and the quality of what we're doing. You know, the mission isn't just to produce an ordinary Napa Valley Cabernet. It's to produce something that is world-class and special, and that's why people come here.